It's a good idea to stretch out before any type of exercise. Sean and I are going to get started with some supersets for the chest and the back. We're starting off with the incline bench. Hey, Sean. Hi, Sean. <laughs> Who's going You're first? Good. Me or you? Okay, ready? Okay. One, two, Yay, I go first. Okay. Always <laughs> um, I think I'll start off with uh, 10 pounds on each side, so that's 20. And we're starting off. Remember, supersets are a great way to train two body parts at once, and it also saves time. Hey, Sean, you want to explain the incline bench to life? It started. Well, first, one thing that's really important to do on an incline is not take too high, too high level of a degree on the incline because it's really hard on your shoulders. I know that from experience because I've had a bad shoulder from playing football. So I don't like to go over anything above a 30 degree incline. How's it going, Kiana? Good, I'm on four. I like to warm up. About 10 to 15 reps, five. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. This works the upper chest. It also works the anterior delt. Really nice, nice tie-in. You know she's doing everything really controlled, which is the key with any exercise, so you don't get injured. And as I said before, I know from experience, because I am little sore all over. <laughs> form first, right, Sean? Proper form. It's the only way to prevent injury. Okay, three more. That not showing off. You show off. <laughs> well, I can't let you beat me on everything. <laughs> Last one. And up. Okay. Now we're super sitting, so... After training the chest, we're moving immediately right over to the back. There's two grips. I'm going to go with the close grip. This works the uh, center of the back and the lats. Elbows tight. And the shoulders. Do you like supersetting, Sean? Uh, I like it a lot more than uh, tri-sets. <laughs> Gives me a little more time to recuperate. I try to only do it maybe once every two weeks. The nice thing about the close grip, too, is it brings in the biceps a little bit. That's true. How am I doing? I don't know. That was, what, three, maybe? Yeah. Inhale and exhale. Whew. Okay. Now that's one set. Super set. Your turn. All right. I'm going to start off with the bench again. Yeah. So for Sean, we're going to put on some more weight. What do you want on there, Sean? Uh, 100-pound plate's good. <laughs> Super setting's a fun way for me to get in an intense workout in, putting two body parts back to back. This is a tough workout because we're doing two major muscle groups at the same time. Now notice Sean's form. It's perfect. Bringing the bar down nice and slowly to the upper chest, exhaling on the way up, his shoulders back, Perfect. His chin is up. He's closing his eyes because um, the sun here in Maui is pretty intense. So actually, we could be wearing sunglasses out here, couldn't we? <laughs> no, actually, my eyes are really this small. <laughs> no Asian jokes, huh? Who, me? <laughs> you know, again, supersetting is two opposing muscle groups. Doing the incline bench, moving immediately to the seated row. Three more. Perfect. Spotters, you're right here, giving a little help. Last one. Come on up, let's go. Looks great. You can really see your chest working. Got it. Now we're moving immediately over to the seated row. Now notice Sean's form here. He's got his elbows tucked tight into the body. His back is tight, his abs are tight, his shoulders, this also works the shoulder area. But you can really see it working right in here through the lats, the center of the back, the upper and middle. He's got an incredible back. Nice view from back here. <laughs> and spotters, if you want to help your partner, you can be right in through here. It's a little help. Great, Sean. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I need your help. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, come on, two more. Can you get two more? Last one. Okay. So that's one superset. We 
we've done incline bench and now the mid row. Now let's show you a super set number two. Ready? I like the pec deck. Now another chest exercise here is the pec deck. Make sure your arms are at 90 degrees. Inhaling as you bring the weight back, squeezing together, exhaling. Nice and smooth, Kiana. Four, five, six, seven. Get a nice stretch. Nine, yeah. Ten. Eleven. One more. Twelve. Okay, next exercise is the, uh, the lat pull down. Look at the wide grip. Elbows back. You can see the muscles really contracting on the way on the way down where she holds it right in here. Sean's playing with my hair as I'm lifting here. It's very similar to a pull-up. This is really wonderful because it ties in, the, once again, it ties in the shoulders with the back, your, uh, your upper back, your rhomboids, and a little bit of your traps, and your lower lats. One more. Okay, Sean, your turn. Okay, we're starting up with the... Heck heck. Oh joy. Okay, we've shown you two super setting, two super sets. We've shown you the incline bench combined with the mid row, and now pec deck to the chest combined with the lat pull down. Don't go anywhere because I'm going to make sure Sean does both super sets two times over. The topic for the day is motivation. If you've ever had trouble motivating yourself to get to the gym, super sets are the cure. Try combining exercises together for a fun new way to get pumped. The bench press for the chest, followed immediately by the seated row for the back, is an excellent superset combination. Or the pec deck, combined with the lat pull down, is another great way to train. It's also motivating to train with a partner. Sean and I had a great workout with our supersets. We're moving on now to our shoulder workout. Grab your barbells and join us. One of the very best ways to train your shoulders is to utilize one power lifting movement and one shaping exercise. Chris is getting started with the clean and press, which um, is a very advanced movement. Chris. Basically starting off with the barbell, straight barbell, feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. From a squatting position and overhand grip, he's standing up, chin up, bringing the bar up to the chest, doing a military press for the shoulders, inhaling all the way down, elbows back, and going back down to starting position. Perfect form. How does it feel? Great. Yeah. This is an excellent exercise. It's working the entire the leg area, the back, the shoulders, forearms. It's excellent. <laughs> but whatever level you are, you can get started with this exercise. Start off very slowly, using a light weight before you so you master the form, and then gradually increase your weight. Come on, up. One more. Come on, you can do it. Everybody's watching you. All of the whole world's <laughs> watching you. <laughs> Right, Rosie. All right, let's do it. that's my turn. Good. Okay, Rosie, I want you to do the same thing. Okay. Make sure she's using a light dumbbell. Squatting down, squatting position. Standing up. Overhand grip. Military press. Perfect. All right. Uh huh. Excellent. Good. And what's this called? Clean, Clean and, and press. press. No, it's not the laundromat or the Chinese laundry. <laughs> It's important before you start this exercise to make sure and do a warm-up set to get the back warmed up because a great deal of strain is placed on the back if you don't warm up properly. Good job, Rosie. You feel pretty good. All right. Exhale on the way up. What I like about this exercise is you're, getting, you're hitting a few different muscle groups, so it's actually, it saves time if you're going to move on to, let's say, training biceps or training legs after. Perfect. But I use these before I train legs. It's my heart rate up. Good point. How many are we at here? One more, one more. 
Now, when you train your shoulders, I recommend staying between six to eight total sets. And with the larger muscle groups, such as the legs, chest, and back, uh, 12 to 15 sets. Good job, Rosie. That was pretty Thanks. good. You got to use a hand here with the bar? Yeah. Now remember, even if you are at home, you might have a street bar, you might have dumbbells. You can do these exercises right at home. Feet shoulder width apart, overhand grip. From a spotting position, stand up into a press. Oh, nice form, huh, Rosie? Yeah, it's great. Good, good job. job. Concentrate. Excellent. Notice she keeps her back straight. Perfect. All the time when she goes down, her chin is up. She's not putting any strain on the lower back. It's great because uh, when you're doing cross training, playing many sports, tennis, shooting a basketball, playing baseball, you're always yeah. using your shoulder and your rotator cuff. So having a strong shoulder and shoulder girl is uh, definitely worthwhile. I think so. Okay. Whew. Good job. All right, Karen. Nice. Good work. Okay, now we've shown you our powerlifting exercise for the shoulders. We're going to move on to a shaping exercise, which is actually um, a combination of three different exercises for the entire shoulder. Chris is going to start. Let's grab my dumbbells here. Hey. Let's go, Chris. You're talking about us? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, inside, please. Okay. <laughs> Dumbbell in each hand. He's starting off with the front raises for the shoulder, the front area of the delt. It's important to have a well-balanced physique. This is an excellent exercise to burn out the muscle at the end of your workout. Rosie, you're next. Oh, so oh I know. Watch this one. And in addition to weight training, it's a good idea to incorporate cardiovascular exercise to burn the excess fat and eat a low-fat diet. Nice and slow. Perfect. Doing good. Good form. So Chris has done seven of the front raises. Now he's going to do seven of the side raises for the side delt. Seven, and I'm supposed to do <laughs> It's hard. Here. So pick a lighter weight that you can do 21 uh, reps. Are those burning, Chris? Well, I can feel it. Notice here his feet are firm on the ground. His back straight, tummy tight. Nice, firm, seated position. Elbows high. It's perfect. Good job. Six. Come on up. You're showing off all day long. Yeah. Now, now what's happening? <laughs> oh no, it's fine here. Okay, Rosie. Can I do? I need to do the stand. Okay. Now again, when you're doing an exercise like this, standing, keep the knees slightly bent to take the strain off the lower back. She's doing seven of the front raises, and it's very important that you know how to count to 21, right? <laughs> <laughs> that would help, right? Do 21. Nice job, Rosie. Good job. Okay. Notice here she's exhaling on the way up, turning the thumbs down just a little bit at the top of the movement. Perfect. And then for the rear delts, you want to go up, back, out, and down. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Like a circle. One movement. Up a little higher. Okay. To here. Let's see. Go down. I'll do it with you. Okay. Up. And down. Oh, okay. There you go. Right, right. There. Perfect. Oh, wow. Yeah. There you go. How often do you train shoulders, Karen? Twice a week. Oh, I can feel it on these. Good job, Rosie. Now, in addition to weight training, make sure you listen to your body as far as um, maintaining the proper diet. A lot of times, if you, you might get hungry during your workouts. Make sure you, you keep track of how you feel. I like to keep a little journal of my workouts and how I feel during the day. I know that I get hungry after an hour of training, so I keep my workouts um, to an hour or less. Okay. Okay, my right. turn. Let's see, I'll use the, uh, the eights. That's not pretty good. I thought you were going to use the pretty little red ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talked about I use that the, beforehand. the pretty now. gray ones. <laughs> okay, front raises. Now, Chris, what do you do as far as your diet? Um, in terms of coming to the gym, Count, I don't like to eat until about two hours previous to coming to the gym. It kind of gives me an extra boost of carbohydrates, and it tends to settle my stomach so I feel better when I work out. Right. A lot of the times you're in a rush, you think, i got to eat something on the way to the gym. I never get as good a workout. I feel a little bit heavy and tired. I usually just grab a quick bite to eat, and then I eat after I leave the gym. I'm quick up my appetite. Good job, good job. Count. I'm That's getting four. hungry now. They're talking Are about you? food. If I was to give Count a spot, which she doesn't really need, I'd come in right behind her and just help lift her forearms. Okay, for the rear. Good job. Ooh, these are Good job. tough. Those burn, huh? Two, especially after the cleaning. I don't hear any counting. Are we getting close yeah. to 21 yet, yeah, Kiana? <laughs> Four, five, two more. 
six, six. Yeah. Seven, seven times three. <laughs> okay, Chris, <laughs> All right. clean your My turn again? Your turn. Okay, we're gonna get started with a whole nother circuit. We've got a whole lot more exercises coming up. Let's go, Chris. It's easy to shape your shoulders right at home. The clean-in press is great for training the front deltoids and increasing upper body power. The front raises can either be done seated or standing. They're excellent for shaping and defining the front area of the deltoids. Bring the weights a little higher than shoulder level, keep your tummy tight, and concentrate. The side raises shape the side area of the shoulders. Remember to hold the weights for a beat at the top to get the maximum benefit from this exercise. And finish off your shoulder workout with a set of the shoulder shockers for the rear delts. Crank it up. Walking is one of the safest forms of exercise. But if you want to add a little bit more resistance to your walking, try using small hand weights. Make sure they're one pound or less, letting your arms swing relaxed at your sides. That way you'll get a little bit of an upper body workout as well. Want to go for a walk? Walking burns excess body fat and is excellent for toning the legs. But be sure and incorporate a variety of upper body exercises to go along with your walking routine. Cardiovascular exercise and weight training will have you in flexipeel shape. Men and women alike love to train the bicep. But the most challenging part about this muscle group is learning how to train it from different angles. We've got three great exercises for you that'll help you hit the bicep from the overall area, the peak, and also a little forearm action in there too. And all three of these exercises will be using good old fashioned dumbbells. We're starting off with our alternating seated bicep curl. Palms up, super knitting the wrist at the top, turning that pinky in to get that extra peak at the top. Inhale, exhale on the way up. Keep the elbows tight into the waist, isolating the bicep. We'll be doing three different bicep exercises, one immediately after the other, to really burn out our bicep. Pump up those arms. Let's go, 10 more. And up. Squeeze it up. Looking good, Mark. Eight more. Seven, counting them down. Six. Notice here we're starting off with the lighter weight than we'd normally be training with. That's because we're doing a giant set or a tri set. Supinate the wrist at the top right there. Last one. And let's move on now to the uh, hammer curl. Notice the different position of my hands. Curling it up and all the way down. Working more of the forearm. Hitting the bicep at a different angle. Working the brachialis, which you've probably seen on Jurassic Park. <laughs> Last one. Come on, Mark. Up. There. Good job, Sean. Okay, now we're gonna drop down and do a concentration curl to get that peak in the bicep area. Elbow on the inside of the thigh, dropping the wrist down, curling it up, supinating the wrist at the top. Working this area right in through here. Exhale up. Concentration curl. And up. Again, we're doing giant sets, three of the same body part. Start off with the seated alternating, the hammer curl, and now finishing up with the concentration curl. We're going to do 15 on the right arm, then 15 on the left arm. Add variety to your workouts with supersets. 
Start off your superset with the bench press. It's an excellent way to shape and tone the entire chest. Immediately following the bench press, move on to the seated row for the back. The seated row adds overall thickness and definition to the entire back. Another super combination is the pec deck. The pec deck shapes and tones the chest and adds a definition in the shoulders as well. Combine the pec deck with the lat pull downs and you've got a complete superset for the chest and the back. The lat pull downs add to that nice V taper in the back. And remember, training with a friend is motivating in itself, so grab a friend and head to the gym. Or if you like to train at home, have your friends over to your home gym and train shoulders. Start off with the clean and press and move on to shaping exercises such as the front raise. The front raise is excellent for the front area of the deltoids. Working our way around the shoulder, the side lateral raises are excellent for shaping the shoulders as well. And remember to keep your muscles guessing. Surprise your muscles with the shoulder shockers for the rear delts. In addition to lifting weights, get outside and walk your way to total body fitness. Combine your walking program with a variety of weightlifting exercises for the upper body. Proper nutrition and cardiovascular exercise will get you the ultimate flex appeal. And if you want giant results, try giant sets for better biceps. It was a beautiful day today in Maui, and we enjoyed having you on Kiana's Flex Appeal. Aloha! Kiana's Flex Appeal was filmed at the beautiful Ritz-Carlton Kapalua on Maui's lush northwest shore.